December 9, Monday, the Solemnity of Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Principal Patroness of the Philippines. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. And you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called Barry. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord The Lord is with you. The angel Gabriel greets the young teenager Mary. She is troubled, if not alarmed, by the compliment. True enough, the greeting is loaded with meaning and challenge. Mary becomes the woman who will conceive and give birth to the Son of God into the world and raise him as a human being. The Holy Spirit will come upon Mary to make things possible. Preserving her virginity and her being immaculately conceived in the eyes of God. <music> 